to bullshit, then the commentator doesn't challenge him on that. He accepts it and just moves on to the next question because he's got so many questions he's got to get in. So the, the listener that's listening to this and doesn't hear it being challenged says, wow, it must be true because the, the commentator didn't challenge him. Why don't you get a talk show? At one of the stations in, in Dallas. Why don't you get a talk show? I'm retired, man. I'm not just Yeah, but doing it on a talk you show, know? you'd be good at it. I'm retired. You're you're, you're well researched, you're articulate. Why not? I don't know. I've been in I've been in love with politics all my life. I represented uh, I was a delegate for Ann Richards in the in the early nineties. She I was Democrat. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember him. What in like 90, 91? This was uh, ninety one. She was. I, I was in was, Houston then. She ran for governor. For governor, yeah, I remember first, that. that first I governor. lived here ninety to ninety two. Yeah. But I've always loved. I love politics. But I love politics when it was honest. When honorable men, when Thank the, you. The, the term statesman and elder statesman and political politicians, it was an honorable. Well, it was all that kind of died in the sixties. Oh, it, it started to disappear big time. But you know what you said earlier. You are exactly 100% right. I was a young man in 81 when Reagan came to power. I saw immediately what he did to the air traffic control. Oh, he turned it upside down. And his whole concept that poor people were poor because they wanted to be poor. And they chose you don't it. have to worry about don't don't care about those poor, poor, poor people. Let them live in cardboard blocks on the street. You just take care of yourself, America. Every, everybody's for himself in America. You get it on your own in America. Yep. His whole concept was, was so ass backwards. It was just it was bullshit, John Wayne bullshit. Well, but you know who inspired all of that? It was the Bushes right behind him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know if you know this, but word has it. I'm not an expert, but insiders tell me because I do a lot of work with government people when I'm not getting arrested on bullshit charges, that Kennedy was actually assassinated by Ben Laden because the hit was ordered by George Bush, who hired Ben Laden to be part of the CIA in 59. What? Yeah, when Nixon got upset in the election and didn't win to Kennedy, Bush and Nixon got together and said, how do we get rid of Kennedy? And they George? hired Ben Laden and uh, George Bush George was... H. Was, yeah, he was head of CIA then. Yeah, yeah. And he hired wow. Ben Laden, had Man, him whacked. Where are you reading this stuff at? I got it from people who work in government. Wow. Yeah, stuff that could get me killed if it gets out on the street. But true story, they're telling me that it was a CIA hit. Yeah. And that's why the Warren Commission was never was supposed to be made public in 50 years. Yeah. The 50 years has come and gone. Yeah. And it's not because he's still listen, alive. Listen. So they resuppressed it again for well, another 50 okay. years. It was you an order yet. You do not have to be a PhD to figure that one out. To know that the American government, the CIA, has something to do with the assassination of Kennedy. You don't have and to, Martin Luther King and, Martin Luther and King. Bobby. Yeah, well, definitely. If it wasn't for Martin Luther King, clearly uh, the FBI was out to get him. Just well, like the FBI so but the CIA the, did the uh, hit. The Black Panthers were just murdered by the FBI. Well, and, I worked with the Black and, uh, Panthers Hoover had because the my mother was part of the Democratic Party. Oh wow. And so I'm from Michigan and Detroit. Yeah. We worked with the Black Panthers, okay. the UAW, the Teamsters. Yeah. So I got to hear all the yeah. inside stories when I was a kid. Yeah. I started out in news at age 10 because when you have presidents and senators sitting in your living room, you go, can I quote you on that? And you have a voice like this? Wow. You call up ABC and say, according to the president today, nobody questions it. And we go, how old are you, kid? So I started Stringer News at ABC when I was 10 because my mother was the chairman of the Democratic Party in Michigan and helped get Carter elected. So you were going down here to see about a job. No, I was going down to meet a former FBI agent to find out who's been stealing shit from my companies because I'm doing a film on global warming. Uh -huh. And as I was told by someone from the CIA before I left Los Angeles, Kurt, you would have been better off to take on the poppy fields here or the cocaine traffic here. But the fact that you decided to take on global warming, the rainforest, and the entire black market in one film, you might as well have put a fucking bullseye on your head. Wow. Yeah, I've pissed off the entire... I've had threats from the Illuminati. I've had threats from the Freemasons. I've had threats from the Rothschilds, from Satan cults. They do not want the word out about Ripley, what's going on with global warming or black market trade around the world. Yeah. So if you ever get bored, Google Kurt Kelly. I wouldn't do it from home. And The Final Cut which is one of my films, uh -huh. or The Secret of Life and Kurt Kelly. I'll jot this stuff down for you. Oh, wow. You'll find out I've been very active in trying to change the world in I'll a positive dead. way. I'll be damned. So God bless you for pulling over and picking oh, me up. Man, I, you know what? 
I'm a Christian, man. I'm just not one of these radical. I I'm no. not sure I'm Christian anymore. I believe in God. Well, okay. Call it Allah, okay. Buddha, Jesus. Yeah. I don't want to get yeah. all hung up in yeah. whose religion it yeah. is. Yeah, grab me a piece of paper. Is it okay to write on this? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know what? I, I'm not all concerned what, I, I, what I, you that, call God anymore. Well, you know what? I'm over that. Well, you know, from a historical standpoint, God has has a dozen names in history. Yahweh. Okay, dozen names. Thank and, you. And the interesting thing about it, and about the story of a prophet or the, or a Messiah coming, the interesting thing about it, during the during all these different religions around the world, they've all got almost the identical story about this prophet coming. And, and they're all saying the same things, they generally pretty much the same like what's written in the Bible. But the thing is, there was no transportation to all these different parts of the world during that period of time. How could this word have gotten to all these different corners of the earth? There was no mass communication. But you got all these different religions that got this totally similar concept of a superior being coming to earth. How is that possible? There was no mass communication. There was no trans. They didn't even know the other part of the world existed. Yet all of these stories. I mean, the whole, you look at all these major religions. They've got the identical damn story, with minor variations in it. And I find that really strange. Really strange. Something is going on. My explanation is, you know what? We're probably not even a product of this planet. We're probably so we're probably we're, the off, we're probably the offspring of some super beings from somewhere else that put us here. And, and come back and check on us and, and, and see, man, they pretty much have screwed that situation up down there. We'll just leave them alone and let them deal with that because they screwed that up down there on Earth. But there's, there's something superior, that's for sure. May not live on this planet, but there's something superior. This is too beautiful. None of this can't. All of this creation uh, from the microscopic plants to the beauty of... I put down some of my websites. Okay. If you search my name okay. with any topic, like... Intel. Okay. It'll bring up all my identity theft okay, and breach and homeland security right. or my name and film on IMDb. Are you familiar with IMDb? No, no, what is that? If you look on I it's Internet Movie Database. Okay. I've done tons of television films. Oh, Internet man. Movie Database. And IMDb. Not, and you don't, you live in Emerald though. No, I live in Los Angeles. You live in Los Angeles. Yeah, You're I mean, trying to get back home to LA? Yeah. Damn, Kurt. I got to pick up shit in a hotel that I was arrested in while I was in a hotel. They sent police to arrest me to bring me back. So if you look on IMDb, I'm Kurt Kelly number two. You'll see okay. I've done everything from Saturday Night Live to wow, man. to the Today Show to major films, and you got to meet me on the highway. And they've got your car back. Oh no, they already. Sent that back to LA last month. They sent your car back. So to LA. I gotta rent a car somehow. I I need to. My insurance will pay for the car, but I've been advised by people in Homeland Security that I should get someone to put up the fifty dollar copay, rent it under their name, and get me as an added driver so I can drive back to well, LA. How the hell did you get out here in the middle of nowhere? Well, because the sheriff, when they released me, dropped me off at the county line I'll and said dead. another sheriff was going to pick me up, and that was an hour ago, I'll and they dead. never showed up. So I just started walking and sticking a thumb on going. Uh, Somebody well, will pick me up. You know what? This is pretty ironic, man. 